Everybody, everybody's in a panic. It's nuts, man. You've been blowing up, though, man. I have to give you a lot of props, dude. I've been following your social. I've been following your journey. It's just amazing. And then you practice what you preach, just the value, just all about relationships, how you respond to everybody. So it's been amazing to see. Because I, I mean, how many people do you have in your coaching program now? Uh, it's 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 almost a thirty thousand. That's unbelievable, dude. Mm. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So I guess what's the advice? You know, everybody's in a panic right now, right? Because they're looking at the market, especially with real estate. I know some states have made real estate an essential business. Others haven't. What, what's the advice you're giving to agents, what they should be doing right now, um, specifically because they can't see, you know, they can't do open houses, they can't go face-to-face -face with people. What are some of the things that you're trying to implement in your business and advice you're giving? Yeah, um, so, you know, I think the biggest problem out there are agents are focusing on what they can't do. You know, they can't do open houses, they can't do this, they can't do that, and they're focusing on that. They're saying, I can't do that. What do I do? I can't do it. So I think the first step is, is to stop focusing on what you can't do, and then let's start trying to carve out the things that we can do. Okay, and then all we can do at that point is just go all in and focus on what we can do right and completely forget about what we can't do that's irrelevant right now so I mean th this is just the basics of success man this is just the ABC's do the, the the bottom level of okay we're gonna do great things you know successful people they stay busy they stay productive they're always looking for an edge they're always looking to adapt they're trying to learn new things all the time the markets gonna always be changing you know, it's going to go up, down, sideways, all around. All the time, it's going to be changing. Um, you know, you, you can't get shocked when the market changes. You just have to go with it, you know. So I've always talked about it for years and years and years. You know, when I lost everything in the crash and came back and, you know, got to where I was selling a lot of properties and, you know, always talked about the fact that, you know, once I got to a million dollars a year, um, you know, I kind of... I didn't really have to make cold calls anymore. It was more so just I had so many past clients and I've got so many repeat customers and referrals coming in from the business that I built over the last decade and a half that I'm not really cold calling anymore. Um, you know, but I always said that if the market ever crashed or slowed down, like I can't cold call during those times when I'm selling so much stuff because. Um, you know, I'm too busy selling, <laughs> like I'm too busy closing stuff. So I always said if the market slowed down or crashed, you know, it would give me the time that I needed to get back on the phone. You know, and so the name of the game is this. In my coaching program, I like to do the three by three, three hours of calls, three days a week. Um, and I like to do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So you do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so that if you have something that comes up Tuesday and you can't make the calls, you can make that up Thursday or Friday. But the next step in the process is, is outside of those nine hours a week, if you have any downtime, we're going to fill those up with calls. You know, we're going we're gonna to stay busy. We're not just going to run into Thursday and we showed property all morning and now all evening and we don't have anything to do. We're going to make calls all that evening. Okay, even though we did our three by three, we're still going to make calls because we don't have anything in our schedule Thursday. We're just going to fill that up with calls. That's what top producers do. They, they stay busy. They're either handling people, talking to people, closing deals, showing property, going to listing appointments, all those things. Or if they don't have anything to do, they're going to get back to prospecting and ramping up more business and trying to build their database and take their business and life to another level. It's the same thing when the market shifts. The market shifts, it just gives you more free time to make more calls. So I've literally been making calls eight hours a day since this thing started. I've been at my house just pounding the phone, um, just calling everybody and anybody that I can that I've ever talked to ever. See, I'm at the point where I have so many past clients and referrals and repeats and all that that yeah, I have thousands of these people. So, you know, it's going to take me forever to get through that entire list of everybody I've ever talked to before in real estate um, to check on them, see how they're doing, see what's going on. How are they taking this? How are they feeling? What can I do to help them? 
you know, all that stuff. And that that's really going to mean something to them when this is all said and done. They're going to always remember that Ricky called them during the pandemic to check on them, see how they're doing. And they're also going to realize that I'm not ever going to get out of real estate. Like, this doesn't scare me. I'm still here. I'm going to be here. Let me know what I can help you. It just kind of solidifies their choice as you as their as their agent. You know, they're your loyal clients. And it kind of solidifies that relationship. And it really means something that you called and checked on them. So that's kind of my strategy right now um, as far as that goes. If you get through all your past clients, you know, and you, you, you don't have a big list, you're brand new, you're one year in the business, and you get through all those people you talked to and everything and you checked on all those, now what do you do? We'll go back to what we always do. We have an unlimited amount of property owners in the area to call and check on and continue building that database. The real, the real top producers are going to emerge out of this with a much larger business than they came into this crash with. You know, they're going to, they're going to come out of it with a lot more business than they came into this situation. The ones that are working, the ones that are continuing to try to build their database and build those relationships and check on people and see what you can do to help, you know, and all that good stuff. All the stuff I talk about all the time. No, yeah. man, I think there's so many cool nuggets in there. So many golden nuggets. One is Ricky called me during the pandemic. Yeah. I love that. Like, be the agent that's remembered to, that you called during the pandemic. I think right. that's a freaking golden nugget. Yeah, that really means something. It, well, it so makes you the, stand out. What's that? I said it makes you stand out. It makes you. Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah, because no other agents are calling. They're, they're scared to call. They don't want to do anything. They think people are upset. You're not calling to sell them a piece of property right now. You're calling to see how they're doing through this and check on them. See if there's something you can do to help. Let them know you're thinking about them. You know what I mean? How has the response been, Ricky, from your clients and from your, your list? And, and what are they saying, I guess? what's What are they going through? Oh, dude, it, everybody's like, you know, the older ones are kind of scared because they have, you know, you know, this is the thing, and it's not its not just old people, you know, I mean, there's young people that are getting this and, you know, getting affected big time. I mean, there's younger people dying and stuff, so it's not just older people, but the older people with underlying health issues, you know, they're scared, they're just staying at home, they're just hunkering down, you know, they're ready for this whole thing to be over, you know, and that's really all, all it is, you know, I mean, everybody is staying at home trying to stay away from this thing until it blows over hoping that their family's not affected. That's really the general, you know, the general conversation that I'm having with everybody. You know what I mean? Is there any activity right now in your area? Like, are, are people, have, have you picked up any clients or listings during this? Like, what are you seeing from that perspective? Not that really, man. It's different in different yeah, areas. Yeah, not really. It's pretty much dead. I normally sell a good 20, 30 properties every March. And this month I, I put two under contract. So it's a big, big, big slowdown. Um, but, you know, um, it's fine. Like, I've been preparing for this moment all my life. You know what I mean? Like, this is yeah. perfectly normal. You know, you, this is... Yeah, you to, wrote a book about it. <laughs> yeah, this is completely to be expected. This is, uh, 